Hey everybody, so it's been a while since I've done an update on my aquaponics system, so I just wanted to show you guys what I've been growing. Um, so here you can see I have some cilantro, and I have uh, some lavender and spearmint. It's all intermixed with each other, and the reason it's like that is I had a huge bag of uh, expired seeds that were really old. They were from like 2009 and I just sprinkled them all intermixed throughout my whole grow bed and I wanted to see what would gr what would germinate and here you can see here's some lavender so pick some of it off of there there's some spearmint and there's the cilantro um, I know the spacing of these plants is not good but uh, this is how they germinated and I really I just want to see how they do. I'm not going to try to disturb them or move them around. I am going to be moving soon, so I am going to have to make some changes to my system. I'm going to have to pack it up, and I'll probably use that opportunity to clean it. Uh, you can see here that I do have some brown algae growing in my tank, um, and I attribute this to uh, power outages that occurred during uh, Hurricane Sandy and other uh, snowstorms that we've had this winter. Uh, my power went out and my temperature in my tank has been fluctuating all over the place and my grow bed wasn't getting water pumped up to it. So this is something to keep in mind when you are growing plants with aquaponics. Uh, it, you are subjected to power outages and the weather uh, can affect your ability to grow things. That's why I think it is a good idea if you ha have the ability to uh, have a solar powered system but for most people that it really isn't a uh, viable option so just keep that in mind when you are uh, using aquaponics um, so yeah everything's doing pretty good uh, the chemicals or the uh, nitrates, the ammonia, the pH, nitrites, everything's uh, right where it's supposed to be nitrates are 10, pH is 7, I have no nitrites, no ammonia fish are doing really well, the, the goldfish are great because they tolerate uh, fluctuations in the temperature and chemicals and they, uh, they, they tend to do well regardless of conditions um, so that is pretty much it uh, the only other thing I want to talk about is my lighting. You can see that I am still using the same crappy shop light that I got from the hardware store for $8. And it's attached to a chain, which is then attached to a bunch of hooks that I made out of a wire hanger. Um, since I've had this light, the uh, output of the uh, wattage that's coming out of this light is not nearly as um, high as it used to be when I first got it and you can see that my plants are kind of suffering from that they're uh, growing really tall and not really putting out a lot of leaves um, they're not growing nearly as fast as they used to so I think once I move I'm gonna make the switch over to a actual grow light so I don't have to change the bulbs out and uh, keep having this problem um, but this was a good light to start with this is kind of like an experiment for me so I learned a lot using this light and now that I kind of have a better idea of what I want to do and how to do it, I'm going to invest in a more expensive actual grow light. So see what happens and thanks for watching. Appreciate all the comments you guys are leaving me and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.